circumpolar bodies. Assume that an observer is at latitude of 50 degrees north. He observes a body whose declination is 56 degrees north. Thus, the polar distance would be 90 minus 56, which equals 34 degrees. The pole P is not at the center of the diurnal arc of the body, unless, however, the body is quite close to the pole. X is the upper meridian passage when the body is between the pole and the zenith. X1 is the lower meridian passage. In other words, the body is between the pole and the horizon. The altitude NX1 is 16 degrees when the body is below the pole. The altitude NX is 84 degrees when the body is above the pole. PX equals PX1, and both are the polar distances. The latitude may be found by observing the altitudes of any circumpolar body while it is above the elevated pole, and again while it is below the elevated pole. To prove latitude equals one-half upper meridian altitude plus lower meridian altitude. In this case, Latitude equals one-half 16 degrees plus 84 degrees, which equals 50 degrees. Latitude equals one-half NX plus NX1. Latitude equals one-half NP plus PX plus NP minus PX1 equals one-half 2NP. Or, latitude ZQ equals NP. A body is circumpolar, in other words, always above the celestial horizon, if the zenith distance, ZX1, is smaller than 90 degrees at the moment of lower meridian passage. The following conditions should exist. A body is continually below the celestial horizon if the zenith distance, ZX, is greater than 90 degrees at the instant of upper meridian passage.